All right, welcome back. You know, we learned about celiac disease earlier, and one of the diets that you need to follow is a gluten-free diet, of course, and it's something that, of course, you need to do in order to kind of survive every single day. But you have a little bit of some, uh, a little things here and there that, that we can talk yeah. about when it comes to, you know, having a gluten-free you know, diet. You know, when someone has to go to a gluten-free diet, it's very overwhelming, you know, because you're scared, first of all, that right. gluten's in something you're about to eat, and then you get very sick, and the symptoms last a long time. So I brought a little bit of sampling of some of the things you can find that are gluten-free. At my house, we do um, Love With Food, which is a monthly box service, and every month they send you a box that is just that full is of cool. gluten-free snacks. So I have a five-year-old. And it's safe. Yeah, everything in here is certified gluten-free so I know when I get this every month I have snacks for my five-year-old that are safe exactly. for her to eat right oatmeal was one of my favorite things to eat but a lot of oats are not certified gluten-free so Correct. you have to watch the labels for that these are one of my favorite brands of oats um, wild way these are actually grain free they're not even made from oats they're made from nuts that are ground along with some dried fruits um, simple mills is a brand that I use all the time because these are certified gluten-free you can find anything from crackers baking uh, baking mixes I'm also dairy-free so go veggie is one of the cheeses that I use because it's also a dairy-free cheese right this is one of my absolute this favorite things cool. these are CSA brand um, tortillas these are grain-free I mean everyone in Laredo oh, eats right. tortillas say, right yeah um, but you have to make sure that they're gluten-free these are actually created by a family that is from Laredo and these are huge Great. in the gluten-free and paleo world right now their company is based out of Austin but again they have that Laredo connection I eat these all the time they are fantastic they're great. Yeah. and that's another thing that you bring is the fact that you, even though you are gluten free, you don't necessarily have to um, kind of give away yeah, some of the things. Yeah, you don't have to You just have to out. find, I guess, an alternative. And that, yes. I know you've been able to do that. What, what people are seeing right here, this is, these are my pictures from my Facebook page. Right. I have a Facebook page called My Gluten Free Life in Laredo, Texas. And everything you're seeing right here is stuff that I've cooked. Um, you can follow me here on this page. I've had this going for about four years now, right after I went gluten free. I kind of share my journey on what it's like to be gluten free, the challenges, but I also do a lot of cooking. I cook all my meals. You I don't to. eat out. I have to. We had these for Thanksgiving. No, How those awesome are so is cute. that? So I share recipes. I also um, find good recipes online and try those out test those for yeah. you to see how they work so follow me and you can um, see a lot of the different recipes I know that I for example um, I mean we were friends so we know <laughs> that I know a lot of the things that she's had to go through when it comes to all these things but you know it's really hard to eat out because you have to know the restaurant you have to know exactly what they have so how has that been for you you know eating out honestly I don't eat out here in Laredo because a lot of places will say, well, we have a gluten-free menu, mm -hmm. but a breadcrumb will get me sick. Exactly. Someone with celiac disease, a dusting of flour will get Anything. you sick for weeks. So the big thing about eating out at restaurants that I worry about is cross-contamination. If I order a pizza and you cook me a gluten-free pizza on a pan that you just cooked a regular gluten-filled pizza, exactly. pizza on, I am going to get very sick. So one thing I'm hoping we have over the months and years is more awareness at restaurants here locally about how to prepare a safe gluten-free, because I am not the only celiac here. I can imagine. We have a lot of them here in Laredo. We actually have uh, a group yes. that we started in conjunction with the Celiac Disease Foundation. They are a national nonprofit based out of California. I worked with them. I went through some training to be able to start this support group. We have our next meeting tomorrow, Thursday, and we're going to be talking about gluten-free meal planning. Oh, we have a nutritionist um, from Mel's Kitchen here in Laredo. She They're actually great. specializes in gluten-free and dairy-free diets and meal planning. She is going to come talk and share about how uh, you can make cooking easier if yeah. you have to cook all the time like I do. So we invite everybody to come out tomorrow. Thank you, Anne, for, yeah. for all these tips and, of course, your, your, your journey. And I'm, I'm hoping that we were able to help other people as well. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.